So, I'll be at the boat landing near the palace, waiting for Regis there. Mind telling him? You've met with Oriana. How did it go? Not well. Oh. Did she not divulge where you might find the Unseen? No, she did. Also divulged her hunger for the blood of small children. Well, I admit I'd heard rumors, but... preferred to lend them no credence. Rather not talk about it. Caves west of town, other side of the lake. That's where we need to go. I see. Well, I'm prepared to set out at any time, but... Yeah, I know. You'd still prefer to free Sienna, for Dedloff's sake. For the sake of you both. Oh, please. Orphanage, what happened there? His fault, plain and simple. City gutters are overflowing with blood, that's his doing too. And you're worried somebody might have hurt his feelings? To meet the Unseen Elder is to face mortal danger. I've said so all along and never in jest. You are a friend, a dear friend. I'd rather you not risk your neck unnecessarily. I think it's natural, I think it's obvious. Obviously natural. Especially when we've an alternative. An entirely reasonable one. I'm a witcher, Regis. I don't cut deals with monsters. I cut monsters down. And I don't give a damn about the risks. Hmm. Well, I understand. I'll not mention it again. Thanks. Time we were on our way. Listen, I need to sail there. Coming with, or would you rather float over as a puff of fog? I'd not be able to talk as a puff. And, as you know, talking is something I'd very much like to do. Mm-hmm. At length and in detail. Let's go. Know much about this unseen elder? Only that he takes unkindly to guests, especially the unannounced. Oh, Joy. Got a plan? Some idea how to appease him? Mm-hmm. The custom when meeting an unseen elder is to bestow upon him a stone symbolizing peace. Yet this type of stone occurs only in Hakla. Take it you're fresh out. Alas, just so. Thus, I fear we must rely on my personal charm. Where'd the unseen's hatred of social calls come from? Don't forget to wipe their boots. They get sick of sweeping up all the time. Hmm. It's somewhat more complex. Tell me slowly. Don't use complicated words and I might just understand. I don't doubt your intelligence, but... Well, it's just hard to explain to a human. This world is a foreign land to us. Unpleasant. Hostile even. The Elder does what he can to isolate, protect himself. And we, as all guests, hinder him in this endeavor. I'll fly ahead. Reconnoitre a bit. Suggest you use Oriana's key. Medallion's humming. Place of power. It's gotta be. Yeah. 
work. And a good thing too, I'd be hard pressed to see who this kept in a bottle for. What's inside? Know what to expect? Hmm. Vampires? Funny. Let's find the unseen one first, then we'll talk. Must be close. How can you tell? Listen. Don't hear a thing. Hmm. Not one rat, one bat. Dead quiet. As I said, he despises guests. Veris nats atranes, avile clever regis etu. Not one step further. Yes. You have walked your last.
kill me even if I get out of here, unless I think of something quick. of a boost. Well, well, someone was here before me.
megascope. Damaged. Is that stream flowing upwards? Strange. Clearly worth a look. Upside down. Gravity's flipped, getting pulled up instead of down. First, tip will fly upwards if it breaks off. Just gotta collapse the base. Tip of the rock extends to the side where gravity's reversed. Tip will fly upwards if it breaks off. Just gotta collapse the base. Back the other way, I should do the trick. Waterfall I climbed down to get there won't work. Could be another though. Need to follow the current downstream. Now 
now just need the Elder to discover his talkative side. Eventually, they'll find you. And I should fear... Death? No. But that'll be the end of your peace, your quiet. Knights errant, mages, they'll come here day in, day out. One already managed to teleport here. Others will follow, you can be sure. You'll kill them, naturally. So they'll flood these caves, or collapse them with explosives. Destroying the gate you guard beyond repair. No. This place must be secure. The gate. must die. I will not kill one of my own. We ask only that you summon him. We... we shall see to the rest. If you drink from him... I will be anathema. This I know. And still, I ask you to summon Detlaf. Where? Teshem Mudna. Go. Once I sent you there, I will summon death. I thank you. Leave me.
Oh, that went better than I expected it would. Think that went better than... you kidding? I'd have been dead on the spot if not for my slowed metabolism. And yet you survived, though you are risking your life. The question is, why? This contract, it goes well beyond what witches customarily handle. I cannot abandon the matter, for Detlef and I are bound by blood, but you... You could simply walk away. So why, my friend? Why stay and risk your hide? For you. You're in a heap of trouble, Regis. Trouble Detlef brought on. Seen you die once already. That one time was enough. I... Mm. I'm not certain I know what to say. I am grateful, Geralt. All your unseen that... Uh, welcoming? No, they vary. Some are conceited, others imperious, but... Most can be reasoned with, but him... It was clear each word was a great effort. Interacting with others, it seems, it causes him physical pain. Never entered my mind that the conjunction of the spheres was also a cataclysm for you, for... Monsters, no euphemism required, you needn't seek one. I dare say it was worse for us. You arrived by the thousands, we were but a handful. Not much choice, assimilate with you, or shut ourselves off from the world, like him. Cave I was tossed into, that where the gate between worlds is? In a sense, yes. Just slammed shut, sealed tight. Think it'll ever open again? Think you'll be able to go home? I sincerely doubt it. And I think in truth, the Elder knows that as well. So why would he stay down there? What's the real reason? Hmm. To stay with the gate analogy, no door is ever completely impermeable. Smells come through, for instance. When the wind rises, some dust might be blown through the cracks. A palpable trace of things on the other side. It's not much, but it is something. And you? How do you feel now, where you are? Geralt, imagine the least comfortable situation you could ever find yourself in. What would it be? I don't mean a moment of pain with death knocking at your door. Just a circumstance of great unease. All right. In that case, a court banquet. Gotta show up in hose and a tight doublet. Gotta smile at everyone and engage in vacuous conversation while Dandelion sings a ballad about me and Yennefer for all to hear. Very well. Now imagine you're stuck there. Not for an hour, not for an evening, but for all time. And should you fall out of character for but a moment, should you so much as scratch yourself where the stitching chafes all around you will scream, monster, monster, and they'll turn on you and tear you to shreds. Sounds tiring. Damn tiring. I couldn't have put it better myself. Time to summon Deadlaugh. <sighs> yes, high time. Uh, do, do you wish to go to Tesha Mutna right away? Let's go. Want to get this over with. place isn't it offers a lovely view of the valley on a clear day you can see the outlines of Duntine. shame the reason why we came here yes quite the shame Are you angry with me for not freeing Siana for not trying to resolve this peacefully hmm a bit though Perhaps I was fooling myself, latching on to the notion because I badly wished to believe there was some way to fix everything. However, matters have simply gone too far. I must come to terms with that. Regis, 
Let the Unseen Elder know we've arrived. Have him summon Deadlof. managed to find me, so you forced a meeting. Why? You know why. I've tired of guessing your human thoughts. So articulate them or leave me be. I understand your anger, but you need to stop the attacks in the city immediately. My conditions are clear. I wish to see Rello. I wish to see Siana. Yet she is not here. You know why. The Duchess would not release her. So the Duchess must face the consequences. Detlove, please. All this for one woman. You understand nothing. Must be done with this. I am disappointed! You murdered innocents. 
Be gone. I can't let him. I insist.
My, what a smashing ensemble. You wear it well. Shut up. I look like a twit. The caftan is sewn of the best fabrics available, and according to the best tailoring practices. But one must have a modicum of taste to appreciate this. Even the most exquisite robes cover only deficiencies in beauty, never in refinement. I usually wear something different, better suited to my trade. Got nothing against this particular outfit, though. Just don't exactly feel comfortable in it. And I despise formal occasions. Hmm. Nothing one can't get accustomed to. Now, be so kind as to stand still. All that being as it may, Toussaint's highest honor, the Order of Vitis Vinifera, demands appropriate attire. The Duchess cannot be expected to drape the medal on a suit of armor caked in mud. Palace protocol places enormous emphasis on form, virtuous tradition, etiquette. Huh. A tradition which values appearances ahead of all else, which calls for lordly, glistening triviality and misplaced generosity. Sound wistful. Pensive, Regis. That because they refuse to buy you a new outfit? Hardly. It's the tone I ever adopt when I find myself pondering, which, believe it or not, happens quite a lot. Besides, I've no need for a new outfit as I shall not be attending the ceremony. Why not? Because unlike you, I don't have to. I shall begin to pack my belongings instead. I trust you'll join me later, once you're richer by a medal and a fascinating new experience. Count on it. Hmm. Ceremonies. Medals honoring virtues. Just keeps coming up. I've had no reprieve either. And I keep thinking of the last great virtue, compassion. It's the one piece of the puzzle that never seemed to fit. Mean you suddenly believe the five virtues theory, after all we've revealed? It's not a question of belief, superstition, or old wives' tales. It's a conclusion derived through exercising pure logic. Siana planned everything in advance. Had we not stopped her, surely there'd have been a fifth victim. One the gossips would have associated with a lack of compassion. Her plans don't matter now. Can't act on them. Ask the messenger who delivered my invitation to the ceremony. Siana's in the palace. Courtiers pressured the Duchess to lock her in a tower. Do you care not a whit who else was in her black book? We've some time before the ceremony. We could still chat with that boot-cleaning urchin. He was the one to pass the victim's names to Detlaf. Perhaps we missed something. Regis, Boot Black didn't say anything about making deliveries when we talked to him. How do you know he handled the letters? While you basked in glory and tried on new formal wear, I conducted a little investigation of my own. You'd be very proud to see how I conducted myself. I began by concocting an ample supply of boot wash for our enterprising young friend. I'd observed that among street folk, amidst their society as a whole, reciprocity takes precedence over all other codes, and thus no good deed goes unrewarded. Of course, the same holds true for malicious or destructive deeds. The letters. What's the connection? When the boot black arrived to collect his bucketful, he hinted he knew more. Simply put, we'd failed to ask the proper questions when we chatted earlier. It took a bit more tongue loosening, but ultimately he spoke. He admitted he'd handed Detlaf the letters. He knew this information was valuable to me. In providing it, he was simply repaying me. All in all, why not check up on that? We'll go together, assuming we're done here. I am done, yes. It lies in your hands now to see if you are able to present my handiwork at the ceremony with the dignity it is due. Or if you will first destroy it, crawling about the city's underbelly. Promise to be careful. It's the swordsman. Good to see you. Here for a spiffing? Dirty boots are a stain on professional dignity, you know. Step on up. Need to ask you something. Yet again? Go on, then. I'm a proponent of free speech, and I will gladly tell you all I know. 
But why not get your boots shanked while we jabber? Guess they could use a spit and polish. Then I shall take advantage as well. A friend of mine used to say boots should be as clean as the soles that wear them. Clean boots, clean soles. A fine slogan. How's business? Well enough. I can't complain. Though it'd be even better for certain folk to sit down for a shine as they stood and chatted. Man in the frock coat. You passed him some letters, remember? Why, of course. I'm young, got a mind like a steel trap, but... If you're about to tell me this information will cost me, forget it. How'd you get those letters? Beckers brought them. Why didn't you tell us this before, when we first talked? You didn't ask about beggars now, did you? Beggars. Tell us more about them. How many were there? Why, four. One for each letter. Just four? Sure you didn't get a fifth? I can't count, you know. Remember anything else? These beggars have anything in common? What? Come now. Each was different. Some had mismatched boots, others had no boots at all. Oh, I know! They all had no home! Kid, my patience is starting to run a little thin. Now think hard. Remember what they looked like? Of course. I have a mind like a steel trap, as I said. They were ragged, unshaved. Their clothes were tattered. As to their boots, well... I mentioned that already. Geralt, allow me to ask a question. Listen, lad. I'll be glad to mix another batch of that boot shine for you. But you must focus now and tell us all you know. Where can we find the beggars? Well, at the shelter, most like. Where's that? Everyone knows. It's just round the corner. Up those stairs, then right. Thanks, kid. For your trouble. We must visit the shelter. Look around inside. Threw away the beast, sugar lips. You. <clears throat> You've to move your little camp elsewhere, got it? You? What do you want? To talk. Here, that's a waste of breath. We've tried it, only to tire our lips. We'll use other means of persuasion now. Gentlemen, calm, please. Either get out along with these flea-ridden vagabonds, or we'll toss you all out. Our patience is gone. This place is no longer a rank refuse dump. Stram! Decent folk live here. The shelter. Them living here bothers you. Question is why. Look, Ballard. Another defender of the poor. Fighter for justice. Damn nuisance. We for our women and young folk living next door, when even grown men fear to walk past such rabble. Decent folk you mention. Mean yourselves. Why? Do you doubt it? Hell yes. Hear that, Artois? He poking insults us. On our own turf. We should step aside, good fellow. My friend is perfectly capable of settling this unfortunate dispute on his own. Right here, puppy dogger. to go. I thank you so much for your aid. I tried to reason with them, but they'd have beat me blue had you not come along. I'm grateful. Immensely. What did they want from you? They are neighbors. Wish me to take my folk 
the shelter elsewhere. They dislike that I help the beggars. I do not oppose going elsewhere were we to have somewhere to go. But you've come with a problem, have you? My turn to hate you. What is this place? Poor house? You could call it that. They come here to rest and eat a hot meal. You help them, why? Because they need help. Need some information. Looking for a man who might have mentioned the boot black in Rue de Garl. The boot black? A feisty lad. I know him. Any of your, uh, wards supposed to meet him recently or soon? Forgive me. Those I help and I are not so close that I would know. But should you wait, they'll all soon come for their meal. You can question them yourselves. Sure all your usual beggars will be here? They're not obliged to come, of course. But they rarely find a decent meal elsewhere. So, almost all in the area eat here. Thanks. We'll wait. Nice of you to let us. My dears, I have a matter to address before I serve the soup. These two gentlemen have some questions of you. Pay attention. Answer in brief. For if you draw it out, your soup will go cold. And we wouldn't want that, would we? Recently, four of you delivered sealed letters to the boot black. I know this. Does anyone know what the gentleman means? Go on, speak up. Romain? Why should I squeal? We were all told not to mention the letters. We all swore. You can tell me, Romain. You were given a letter and you delivered it, right? Good work, Romain. Thank you. Who else? I got the one too. I gave it to the boot black. And Freshy? He got one. But he can't tell you. As he's not here. I still have mine. I'm to deliver it two days after the Feast of St. Barnabas. It's a matter of importance to the duchy. Hand it over, or I'll take it from you, plain and simple. But I was to deliver it personally. Let no one else see it. That is what she said. And she was frightening. You ought to heed folk who are kind and honest. This man helped me a short while ago, helped all of us. If this individual threatened you, you need not keep the promise you made. All right, take it. I didn't want to see the boot black anyways. It's always muddy there. What is it? Another name, truly? See for yourself. Well, well. I... I must say, even I did not expect this. This time you will see to our Duquesa. It seems we underestimated Siana rather grossly. Judging by this, Detloff was literally supposed to tear her heart out. Yet first you must snap her neck. Puzzling. Puzzle complete now. Alas, the matter ceased to be a tantalizing brain tease and has turned incredibly grave. We've proof of a plot to assassinate Toussaint's ruler. We've proof of a coup d'etat. Duchess was to be Detloff's last victim. Siana planned it from the start. Indeed. The logical conclusion, Geralt. Four seemingly random victims to start. The virtues their only link. Enough to get folk talking about a righteous, vengeful beast. Obscured the victim's links to Siana, even as she had those she despised killed off one by one, leaving the Duchess for last. Had she managed to fulfill her plan, none would have questioned the reasons. Most would have thought Anna Henrietta had died for her sins. 
she was known to show a hard heart on many occasions, ample proof of a lack of compassion. Why would Sienna murder her own sister? Out of envy? To take power? From an inborn pension for evil? Yes, yes and yes. All seem likely, and none are mutually exclusive. But if you'd like to know for certain, you can always ask her yourself. Think it's a good idea? After all, we foiled her carefully planned scheme. Think she'll even want to? Talk to you? Would it harm you in any way to try? Some philosophers think empirical examination the sole path to knowledge. I believe you mentioned the Duchess keeps Siana locked up. Courtiers were insisting on a harsher punishment. Much harsher. Think Anna Henrietta had to protect her sister from a lynch mob as much as she wanted to protect her subjects from a criminal. One way or another, she's locked away in a secluded wing of the palace, awaiting trial before a court of law. I'd need to get past some guards to see her. So, meet up once it's over? Assuming you'd rather not see Siana again. You assume correctly. I shall await you at Mer La Chaise Long, with a hot mug of mandrake brew to keep me company. Halt! Need to see Siana urgently. In the matter of? Need to interrogate her. New facts have come to light. Need them explained. Seeing she was planning your Duquesse's assassination. Ah, fine then. You're that witcher who solved the murders, no? Then you've my permission, but only for a few minutes. Promise to be brief. The Witcher will speak with the inmate. You can take a momentary break. As long as it's truly but a moment. Highly irregular, this. Hey, Siana. Sorry to intrude, but I gotta ask you something. I've nothing to say to you. You're the one who put me in here. Have you forgotten? Sure, but you are here. So what's the harm in talking? Got something better to do? What do you want? Be brief. This cell. Downright cozy. Second time you've been incarcerated in altogether pleasant conditions. Always seem to land on your feet. I wouldn't say that. I get no privacy here. But it is clean, because I cleaned it. They do say cleaning can be relaxing. It isn't. It's a horrible, thankless task. But I'm not one to leave anything undone. For instance, before I left Nazaire, I also tidied my room. Even made my bed. I knew I'd never return. But I despise leaving unfinished business. Messes. Loose ends. Dogged determination. Guess that's admirable. I was praised for it as a little girl. Only for that, in fact. Went to a place where Beauclair's beggars congregate. Found proof that you'd planned your sister's demise. Anna Henrietta. She was Dedloff's ultimate target from the start. Your target. Bravo, Witcher. I congratulate you on your deductive reasoning skills. But what I'd planned has nothing to do with you. Wrong. 
has everything to do with me. You were hired to kill the beast. Said beast is dead. So go collect your metal and leave me alone. Why must you meddle in everything? Regis, he's always saying Dedloff was more animal-like, less human than him. Might have been so. Dedloff acted on reflex, was driven by primordial instincts, whereas you're driven by cruelty, hatred, and a lust for vengeance. They hired me to kill the beast, true. Thing is, something tells me the real beast is you. You've no notion who I am or what drives me. Actually came hoping to learn something. It's clear you are out for vengeance. Against those who drove you from the palace? Curse of the Black Sun. That was their reason, right? It's certainly what they claimed. They said I was dangerous. A mutant. Knights, Presby, Dulac, Delacroix, and Peyrac Perrin. They got the task of whisking me away, abandoning me outside the Duchy's borders. They were following orders. So they were, though they did so eagerly. Especially when I tried to flee. Crespi beat me unconscious with a whip. The others stood by and watched. Peyron found ample opportunity to take his frustrations out on me. While Dulac and Delacroix insulted me, mocked me. I swore then I would never forget. I would find them. Find them all. Didn't have it easy, give you that much. Still no excuse for what you did. I didn't expect you to understand. I need no sympathy. Not from you, not from anyone. I regret nothing. If I could turn back time, I'd not decide otherwise at any juncture. They all deserve to be punished. My sister, most of all. Enough. Your visit's done. Ah, oh, thank the stars. Manta de la Tour would like to see you. Shall we go at once? Let's go. Wanna see him too. Damien. Geralt! It's about time. Ready for the ceremony? Your face... doesn't look good. Though it looked even worse last I saw you. I apply a balm of Arnica. Yeah, I hardly feel it anymore. Got some important information. Anna Henrietta was supposed to be Detloff and Siana's fifth victim. You are certain of this? Completely. Found proof. Inconceivable. How could she? The murders, the mayhem she brought down on the city, were they not enough? She sought to strike down her own sister, her liege, traitor. I must alert my men, enlarge the Duchess's honor guard, make certain Sylvia Anna is closely watched during the questioning. I'll see to it personally. I thank you, Witcher, for alerting me, and I appreciate your attentiveness. Let's begin the ceremony. Come with me. The Duchess awaits. In the Guild's name, I beg your assistance, your enlightened highness. Without barrels, production will come to a stop, and it will be the end of us. You lost them all in the fire. These are horrible tidings. 
Oh, we are most dreadfully saddened. Yes, your enlightened highness all. Once the beasts had clawed their way into the warehouse, the whole place went up in flames. I shall dispatch a palace guardsman to examine the site of the blaze. If things are as you say, fitting compensation shall be paid from the Ducal Treasury. Thank you, your enlightened highness. Your Grace, Geralt of Rivia has arrived. My dear subjects, we come now to our next point of business. Of all the duties which fall upon my shoulders, as the ruler of this dominion, this duty is dearest to my heart. For now, we shall award the Order of Vitis Vinifera, Tucson's highest honor. Geralt of Rivia, Slayer of the Beast of Beauclair, step forth. <clears throat> we bestow the distinction upon the Witcher, who saved Beauclair from the terrible beast. Such is our desire. May this symbol serve as a reminder to all that the Witcher shall forever remain a friend of Beauclair. In more familiar terms now, I thank you immensely, Geralt. Damien has your reward for you. After all, it was but a contract. Thank you. I have a small surprise for you, in addition. I give you more than a dozen barrels of Son Real, a wine normally reserved for the ducal table. The gustatory experience of a lifetime awaits. Are you content? I am, and truly grateful, Your Grace. Sadly, I'm afraid I have to sour the mood. It's Sienna. She plotted to have you killed, Duchess. Planned to use Dedloff. You were to be the Beast's fifth victim. This cannot be true. You're mistaken. You must be. I have proof. I do not believe it. In a moment I shall speak to Siana. Will you assist me? You returned my sister to me, yet what you tell me now I find devastating. I've come to doubt that I can judge her fairly. I'd far prefer to learn you're mistaken, Geralt. I'm not. In fact, I'd recommend you be particularly careful around her. You exaggerate, Witcher. She is my sister. I know well how to speak to her. If my presence will help in any manner, of course I'll stay. We shall now question a person implicated in the murders which recently ravaged our fair city of Beauclair. Captain de la Tour. Show Sylvia Anna in. The Witcher will take part in our talk. I'm not a prisoner. Free to do as I choose. You have committed crimes. Grave crimes. Yet you are my sister. And my heart does not allow me to treat you as a common criminal. Nor does it let me believe you sought my demise. My heart yearns to know you were swayed by the monster Detlav. You yourself would never stoop so low. Thus, I have asked Geralt to advise me. 
as one impartial. I shall now hear what he has to say. No matter the mitigating circumstances, whatever they may be, Siana is a criminal and should be tried as such. And punished as such. Her guilt is clear. Your words sadden me greatly, Witcher. But I cannot deny their logic. Siana, you shall be tried and given a fitting punishment. Yet we shall never cease to be family. As Duchess, I shall have to judge you. But as your sister, I shall never stop loving you. Will you forgive me? I shall never forgive you. Some flowers, a wreath, or I've none. Sold everything. I was just on my way out. No sense hanging about with nothing to do. Should come as no shock, sir. Had the funeral, folk took it all. Men, women, children, always to lay a bouquet on the Duchess's grave. Wind flowers, peonies, gladioli. But she liked common roses best. I know, her ladies in waiting would come here at times. I'd choose the loveliest blooms for her. Fragrant, big petals, the kind that last a long time. Ah, uh, I've still not come to terms with it. To be killed by her own sister. How could it happen? Anna Henrietta wanted to believe there was still hope for Siana, that she'd show remorse. She reached a hand out to her. Too soon. Too trusting. Oh, I know you. You're that witcher from the north. The one that saved us from the beast. Mm-hmm. Could say that. Wait here. Take these. Thought you were out of flowers. I put a bouquet aside. I was to take it to her myself. But you have it. I know you held the Duchess dear. How much do I owe you? Not a copper. Keep your coin and raise a toast in her memory tonight. Do just that. Farewell.
Better to die of drinking. Then to cast is dead. What will become of us? Lars in one crypt with the Duchess. It's not decent. Witcher, I was certain you'd departed. Couldn't. Anna Henrietta was... Wondrous. Beautiful. Good. The best ruler one could hope to have. Yet I let her down. Don't be so hard on yourself. No one expected Sianna to do that, persist to the end. And none of us did anything to stop her. Because there was nothing we could do. Uh, I suppose you are right. But when someone so beloved dies, one cannot help but search one's soul for blame. And even the hardiest knights grow faint-hearted then. Come to pay my respects. Bid the Duchess farewell. White roses. They were her favorite. Go inside then. She lies in the ducal crypt, in one room with her murderer, despite my protests. What? Who decided that? The Regent's Council. A pack of old men who've statutes and codices for hearts. Ducal blood flowed in Siana's veins, and she was never legally disinherited. So they ruled she should lie alongside Anarieta. Stylish crypt, quite subdued. Yes, this is the kind of eternal resting place I dream of. Moments like this, I never know if you're joking or serious. Serious, Geralt, serious. It's remarkably peaceful, subtly charming to the hilt. A perfect match for the Duchess's dignity. Ah, oh, you humans, you'll never cease to amaze me to feel despair in the face of natural processes to which you are predestined. I've come to take you from this place, my friend. Dare say you deserve a speck of respite after the mad whirl of the last few days. I failed to prevent. Feel pretty awful right about now. Can't help thinking I could have done more. Now Toussaint's left without a ruler, or more accurately, chaos rules here. Hand in hand with despair. Duchess won over people's hearts. All Beauclair now weeps for her. A mass outburst of emotion. Well, it seems her subjects have adopted some of their recent ruler's traits. Why the sarcasm? I thought you liked Donna Henrietta. I did. And I do truly rue her passing. Me too. Then let us drink. Always seemed to me you were a very complicated creature by nature. 
Not one to resort to such simple methods like drinking your worries away. There exist worries for which they're quite simply. It's no other medicine. Whatever you say about Siona, you gotta admit she was unbending. That she was. I do admit it. Though in her case, it would have been better if she had been a tad more mm, philosophical, pausing from time to time to reflect on the propriety of her actions. True. How do you find my personal brew? Not too strong. Just right. Credit the local mandrake of the Alrauna Diabolus variety for that. The tubers which grow in this area's volcanic soil have an altogether unique flavor profile and display a remarkably uncommon dark brown tint. Fascinating. All I can say is this batch turned out excellent. Indeed. It might be wise to stockpile some roots for the future. Would you care to accompany me? You decide to go root picking now? It's dark out. Ah, oh, Geralt. Even were I generously to assume it had simply slipped your mind that I'm a vampire and thus need no light to see, I'd never believe you had also forgotten that you likewise have absolutely no trouble seeing in the dark. So, shall we? If you think it's a good idea, let's go. But I think you might be forgetting one thing. Fresh mandrake root of this variety is highly toxic, even to a witcher. Ah, not a problem. I never forget matters of safety and hygiene in alchemy. Here, gloves and a mask. Don them, and you shall be in no danger. Thanks. Right then, let's go.